Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and we are going to create karaoke text in Adobe Premiere Pro. Shout out to CK Patel for a request for this effect. He wanted to know how to do it. Now there is no real effect. Um, it is something we're going to create and this is what it's going to look like. Hello up there, we're on the air. It's quarry time again. Both three long years, we faced our fears and made a lot of friends. The company never thought that we make them tuck in we. I tried to get the most efficient way of doing this and not creating nested comps uh, because then you have the music in the front, not the music in the back, or the music in the back and the video in the front. I wanted to keep everything in the same project. The first job, um, and probably the hardest job, is just to create all of the titles. So I worked with a certain font uh, color and, and size and stroke on the outside, and I used two lines, two lines for each of the text. Um, you could use one. It's going to be easier if you use one. Um, you add another layer every single time you do this. That's the, the, the best way that I found. I also use the crop effect instead of using masks, which means you can use this in almost any version of Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's go take it apart and have a look. So I'll turn the top two layers off and let's just look at what we've got. Here are each one of the titles showing up right there. So if I play this, Hello, we'll see the there. title. We're Another title, another title, 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 title. So how do you create a title? Well, you create a title by going to your project bin, clicking down here and creating a new title. And I created a whole bunch of them, put them in their own folder, and you can see them down there. I'll just open up the first one so you can see. There's no keyframing of the text in here. I just picked the certain font that I was using, uh, fill color of white, stroke black, and uh, that's it. And here's the button that's really useful. New title based on current title. What I was doing was, uh, and when you create a title, they don't fall into the timeline. They actually just drop into the, the project bin of whatever folder or bin you have open. So I would create the first one, listen to the text, and then I would push this button and it would actually have the same duplicated text and then I would listen to the, the next lyrics and type them in, push this button, listen to the next lyrics. And then I ended up with a folder full of all of these titles. And I just numbered them one to uh, 14 and dropped them in accordingly. There is no way to go back and change the style of all of the text. So pick the, qual pick the, the font size, color, and all of that first before, or you'll be opening up each one and changing each one. So then I line them up, obviously, um, where they would make sense. Hello up there, we're on the air. It's quarry time again. So that's the first one, the second one. Both three long years we faced off. And I did put them a little bit early. You'll notice that he doesn't say four, but this title has already shown up. And that's because we want to be able to see that so that when it comes up, both three long years. So you you just make sure your cuts to the next lyric is just a little bit earlier. Okay? Okay. So that's the first thing. Create all the titles, drop them in, and I'm dropping them in on the, the layer above the video. So here's the song down here on v, V1. The titles are in V2. And above that, I've added a color mat for each line. Create a color mat by going down here and choosing color mat, and click OK. Pick the color you want. And I picked this light blue color and I can update that anytime I want. And this is one long uh, color mat. So it goes to the whole length of the project. Again, remember, I wanted to make this as efficient as possible. I didn't want to have a color mat for every single uh, group of, of titles. This is one color mat for the whole thing. All right. Now, when you drop in a color mat, this is what it looks like. It's completely blue over top. And what I wanted to do was blend this color mat into the text below it. 
Now, like I said, typically you could do this in another comp in a nested, sorry, a nested sequence with the blue above set to a, to a blend mode and the text below it. But how do you get that all in one? Well, you add a blend effect. So in my effects, type blend and there it is. There's the blend effect. And if we look up here and you can see if I turn the blend mode on, it's blending with video layer two. That's where my titles are. The mode is set to darken only and also blend with original is zero. When you use this for the very first time, blend with original is 100%. So turn that down to zero and choose one of these. Crossfade doesn't work. Color only works, but unfortunately what it does is it also puts it over the black outline. Tint only does the same thing. Darken does the what I want, which darkens the white, makes it blue, and leaves the black where it is. Lighten does the opposite. Lighten will make the black blue and leave the white, but I left mine on darken only. So that means the text now is blue and it's on another layer. So the next job is how to remove the blue as the words are being spoken. And I tried several different uh, attempts at, at different things like using masks and, and, and moving that all over. And you know what? Nothing is as easy as the crop effect. Go down to the effects, type in crop. There it is. I've applied it in here. And I'll zoom in and show you the keyframes for the crop effect. It's important that when you create your first keyframe, you right click and make it a hold keyframe. If you don't do this, and you could do this after the fact, it's just if you do this on the first one, every subsequent keyframe is a hold keyframe. And that means that instead of the words slowly changing, they're jumping, bup, 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 and that's what you want rhythmically to help people follow the song. So make sure the first one is set to that. These are also important keys, uh, buttons here to jump between the next and the previous. This can help you line things up. So the problem with the crop effect is I have two lines of text. The crop effect can't crop the top without cropping the bottom. So I'm cropping from the left in and remove the blue, remove the blue. So let's, let's watch this effect take place. And if I click on this button here, we're actually seeing the crop. So if I jump to the previous keyframe, previous keyframe, you can see it's starting to move between those words. And when it gets to the end, of the first line, then I have a second color mat for the bottom one. And the bottom one is also a blend mode the blend effect and the crop effect and a bunch of keyframes, so it goes to that one. When I go to the next one, I have to reset that. So both of these, remember I'm only using one color mat, it resets to zero. So if we click on our crop effect, there's the crop effect ready to show the, the word air and the next crop effect moves all the way over to the left-hand side for the next one, which is all blue. Okay, so let's do one. I'll show you how I, I, I actually do this for the next lyrics. So here it is. So I don't have it yet for we're on to them. Okay. So let me select this guy. I'm going to zoom in, make it a little bit easier. Now you see how he's starting to form the W. So I'm going to click once in here 
and change this value. Now that the good thing about the newer versions of Premiere Pro is you can actually click in here and use the up and down arrows. If you don't have a newer version of Premiere Pro, just either type a number in or move your mouse around until you get it right. But in the newest versions, the up and down arrow, just it's a little bit cleaner. I don't have to mouse around. Okay, now if I hit the space bar, it's going to put a space in where the text is. So I'm gonna click down here and play this back. We're on, so where's this? Oh. So I'll just click in here. Now I'll hit up, 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 and there's on. Click in here to them. I think that's the word two. Up, 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 up. Them. Click in here. Up, 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 up. Put. And you basically just follow each one along. Up. I think you get the idea. Because I've added that first keyframe, every single other one is showing up as a hold keyframe. So now let's look at that. Up our du I didn't do our dukes. Uh, plus, you do have to hit this to have to start your first keyframe. So you got to make sure you do that. So if if you look at this, there's going to be a lot of keyframes in each one of these mats. That's really what's what's doing this. What's opening that up? So I've got two lines and I've got two color mats blended with the text and the crop effect changing that blue around. This was the most efficient way that I could figure out how to do this. Again, like I said, I'm doing this with two lines and I need two color mats on top. If you had three lines, you're gonna need three color mats. After doing this, you know what? I probably would have just stuck with one line and one color mat and one crop effect to move it over there. So there you go, uh, CK, hopefully you like this. Hopefully this is uh, a useful technique. This is using the current titles in Premiere Pro. Maybe in the future they'll use source text like After Effects. This would be much, much easier in After Effects. The problem with doing audio sync in After Effects is a lot of After Effects stuff has to render, so it's hard to listen to things that are syncing. It's easier in the newer versions, but um, you could do it. Uh, but anyway, this is the text effect, the karaoke text that we've created in Premiere Pro. Hopefully you found this informative. If you're new to Video Revealed, take a moment and subscribe. Uh, if you want to take your support up a notch, join us over on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith and it's my job to get you looking your best.